Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Time Splitters Future Perfect. We're heading way back into the future now in 2243 Machine Wars. Thrown into the midst of the Machine Wars, Cortez cunningly enlists the aid of an R110 combat droid. Now he must explore the war-torn ruins around the Ultranet complex. There must be an entrance to Crow's Labs nearby. Why do they have eyeballs? That's gruesome. <laughs> Okay, those eyebrows, uh, eyeballs are definitely squashed. Alright, Tin Man, let's go! By your command! Lovely little Battlestar Galactica reference there. Here is a weapon. You will need it. The streets are unsafe for humans. You Thank managed you to droid. subvert a battle droid programming? That's impressive. We've never been able to do it. Which unit are you with? Oh, never mind. We can talk later. The sector is hot. We gotta keep moving. The human resistance. They might know where the alternate right, base is. Better stick with them. We've captured a main battle tank. Should be able to do some real damage with it. Maybe nice. knock out some of the robot's heavy equipment. It's up ahead. Come on. Sci-fi handgun here. She isn't too bad. Another one. Ouch. One shot and I'm down half health, practically. That's not good. Alright, first one's We'd taken out. He's gone. Are approaching. More robots. Droids right. Multiple targets. Oh ah, yeah, it reflects. Bounces off walls for what it's worth. But this guy's a little tougher. He's got a freaking rocket launcher in his arm. Oh! Aim for the headshots. It's working reasonably well. Why are there... Why are there humans on the robot side as well? Oh, okay, you're on my side. You are the combat droid. That's fine. Plasma grenades. Nice. Do they stick like the ones in Halo, I wonder? To find out when we get a bit closer to an enemy. Oh, there's one. They do! And like the ones in Time Splitters too. Ow. Gonna be needing some health soon, which is bad considering we've only just started the mission. That thing has a massive blast radius. Alright, moving on, Wits. Oh, look, some health. Well, a little bit anyway. Okay. Tank it is. Tanks a lot. Ugh. Sometimes I sicken myself. It doesn't look like it's got any weapons unless that hole on top, which looks like the cockpit, is something. Need a lift? Yeah, thanks for stopping. Ah, you would have done the same for me. You will do the same for me. <laughs> Already did. Yeah, see? Of course. Ah, uh, there's the weapons. Double the Cortez, double the firepower. They're deploying fighters. There's a fighter? Seriously? They look like knockoff X-Wings. Uh, this is slow and not the best thing to be driving, but we'll do our best. Man, this thing handles worse than the Mako, and that's saying something. How many? There we go. I'm gonna say, how many shots does this thing take to knock it out? 
There is the use of a direct hit to the face. Can I run you over? Yeah, I'm gonna run you over. Much easier. Still trying to take care of this little robot. There we go. Get it down, run the damn thing over. This weapon doesn't feel quite as strong as I think it should, considering it's a main battle tank. Shit, Sherlock, I didn't think I was going to stand still. Pick up that tank. Working on it. Come on, come on, let's roll. Much easier just to run the guys over than it is to try and shoot them down, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Knock, knock. You going? Alternate secret lab, and I'm gonna have to take your robot. What? What? Last guy took mine. Well, I'll come too then. Can't. Why not? Nice. Nicotine pouch. What is it? A cybernetic security implant necessary for access to Ultranet robot worker entrance. The implantation procedure is completely painless. <laughs> Why didn't you mention this before? You didn't ask. Have so, fun. so, I'm going to have to go and get a cybernetic, cybernetic implant before I go back to the past and help my hey, you again. past I self you your way here. Past Come future on. self. We're launching an assault uh, I have a plasma auto rifle. Lovely. Come on, soul. Look out! Fall back! Get ready, people! We have to hit them hard! Here, have a plasma grenade. Can't fire this for too long, unfortunately. It does build up the heat. Uh, build up heat. It doesn't need reloading though, which is a plus. What have we got down here? Yeah, why are all the robots trying to kill us all? Did we make them turn them into slaves and then they decided to rebel, a la Battlestar Galactica, or is there another reason that they like? Have they been taken over by some sort of computer virus like Skynet? This feels like something that could have been explained a little more. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. Don't run in front of me if you don't want to get shot, for God's sake. That was easy enough. Looks like there's some more around the corner. Oh yeah. Uh, we might be inferior, but at least we're pretty. Just more I can say for you. Oh, crap. A little bit of slowdown with the grenades again. I don't tend to use them quite so liberally, so I don't tend to notice it. But it could be an emulator issue. Ow, ow. It's kind of a trade-off though, because the uh, the more your gun heats up, the faster it fires. But the downside, obviously, is the longer you hold the fire button, the more likely you are to overheat it and have to wait for it to cool. Uh, no. Man, I'm going to need some health pretty quickly. Through the door. No. Come on. Can you open this for me? We have to get this door open. Yeah, I know. Angel, we just sold you that. Up. Angel. Hey, Angel. Is that a welder's mask? Looks like a welder's mask. Done. Cool. Right, oh, hello. Come on, seal it. There we go, that's taking them down at least. Grab some ammo while I can. This is where they implant the security devices that allow access to robot controlled areas. Excellent. We figure the Let's process crack on might work on humans. Then again. Right, you're first. 
in your soul. Well, we know it works Don't on worry, humans. Cortez. Your future self had the implant, so it must be safe. Yeah, but he also said it hurt like a bitch. Well, not in so many words, but so great. I had very little health to begin with. Now I've got even less. Lovely job, mate. Grab some health and oh, sniper rifle. Oh, nice. It's got a shield to it. Oh, we're going to be close range? No, we're not going to be close range. Well, Angel didn't last long, did she? That sucks. Here we go. Took a few shots, but got a headshot with it. We're surrounded. We have to break out. Okay. Pretty sure I asked. There we go. Keeping an eye on the shield gauge in the bottom right hand corner. And it looks like it's not a perfect shield either. For whatever reason, it's uh it does allow some fire through. Dead? Yeah, you're dead. Good. And it looks like I'm on my own, which just sucks. I'm sure there's no other turrets kicking around. And I have to progress a bit slowly since I'm on the south. Okay, guy on my right. Need to take him out first. How many headshots does it take to kill one of these things? Should be the one, but they are robots, I suppose. Oh, come on. There's no way that rocket should have hit me. You have a much larger blast radius than you'd expect, which kind of sucks. Oh, armor, and some more sniper rifle armor. Take the headshot and stay dead. Looks like I'm out of the range of that gun turret, so that's helpful. Let's head downstairs. Could already do with some more health, but I did get some armor, which might help. Didn't see that turret up at the back there. Let's check out the other pillars and make sure there's nothing there. Nope, all good. I do love the plasma grenades. I love them in Halo, and I love them in this game. There's something about... Oh fuck, where the... Where the hell did you just come from? Where in the hell did you just come from? There's something about being able to stick your enemy and having them know that they're about to die that's quite entertaining in these games. Shit. Uh, shit. Right, that's that one taken care of. Stay dead. Seriously, just stay dead. It's it'll be better for you. Well, at least they provided me with a bit of armor before this, I suppose. They're less difficult to take out. There's some health down there. I think that's some health anyway. Oh, thank fuck. Onwards and round the corner, I guess. Oh fuck, another one of them. How many of these tanks are there? I think that's the uh, the key to them. Don't stand still. Even sort of even strafing back and forth is a problem. Just keep rotating around in a circle if you can. Wonder if I can snipe this guy without being hit. 
Possibly. Yep, looks like it. Takes so much ammo. Even directly direct headshots seem to do pretty much nothing. I can imagine we'll go back in time very shortly. I'd expect to anyway. Oh, checkpoint. This could be it. Hmm. That's where I gave myself a lift. The wormhole must be around here somewhere. Huh. You're getting the hang of this, aren't you? Well, this is like huh. what the I knew it. ninth level? Huh. Right on schedule. Let's hope I stop in the past. I don't know. Need a lift? Yeah, thanks for stopping. Ah, you would have done the same for me. <laughs> Already did. <laughs> of course. All right, phase two Coming of the fighter. tank battle. Easier or harder than uh, being in the front. I've got to worry about driving at least. if they recorded your segment um, when you were playing as one character and then that segment almost got replayed through the game engine while you were playing the second character. It would mean you definitely have a, an incentive to sort of play as well as you could in both, um, both segments. I don't know, it'd be quite an interesting change. What do you think? this section and it was a lot easier playing as uh, the gunner rather than the tank driver. Well, this is where we split. Where are you going? Ultranet secret lab. And I'm gonna have to take your robot. What? Last guy took mine. Well, I'll come too then. Can. Why not? Nice. What is it? A cybernetic security implant necessary for access to Ultranet robot worker entrance. The implantation procedure is completely painless. Why didn't you mention this before? You didn't ask. <laughs> Have fun. Snarky. Robot is snarky. Here we go. I'm gonna guess probably final segment of the level. Is that up? Oh, nice. So, yeah, secondary fire is a bit like the time split is 2 1. It keeps the barrels uh, revved up constantly. It does start at a higher heat level. I think it's worth it, personally. It means you don't have to worry about the build up quite so much. Because the minigun does take an absolute age to spin up. Very you, Cortez. Very you. Giving me time splitters. Uh, not time splitters. Terminator 2 vibes. Right, you need to die. You've died. Now it's your turn. Oh, this is surprisingly accurate considering it's a minigun that just spits death. I think it would be close range. Ow. Those barrels behind us, was it? Fine. Ah, oh, I'm out of bullets. Fine, here, have this. Apparently I didn't hit it, that's a shame. That's that one taken care of. 
Oh, almost out of ammo on this one as well. That sucks. I can't believe there's no, I've got no minigun ammo left. That just sucks, man. I thought I'd have enough to take me through most of the rest of the level, at least. Whoa! Where are these spreading barrels coming from? This isn't fucking Donkey Kong. I don't think you can hit me here, can you? No, nope, you can't. Good. That takes care of them. Yep, I'm jumping the turnstile. So sue me. I think I'm going to go for the third option, which is... Fuck you! Over there, abuse? No, there is not. Hey. I will help us cover the lever, I suppose. Woohoo! This is old school uh, driving controls left analog stick for left and right, whereas I think Halo introduced more of it. You use the camera to control the direction, which is good but also bad. It took me a while to get used to those controls versus these ones. There is something about being able to point it in a direction and know it's going to go that way. Oh shit. Run him down! Yes! Oh shit! I can spurt its systems and establish a robot leg. You can use its firepower to clear a path to the base. Oh, yes, please. Hack the robot. Take control of it. Ow. Through there. Should probably move this out back so it's not blocking the way, maybe. There we go. Oh, this is going to be fun. down the ships as well, but I don't think so. Just the fighters. I think we can safely say they know we're here. What gave you that impression, Anya? Nice, got that one with the minigun. It's a nice change from relying on the missiles too much. Missiles that aren't very powerful, though. Clear a path for yourself. What do you think I'm doing? Good there we go. Your implant will allow you access via the workers' entrance. There it is, the workers' entrance. Now, this is a, is this a robot worker or a human worker? I guess we'll find out in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. I think we're on the right track, Robo. Let's go.